following my last two installments of Warrior Cats as we have the perfect video, Warrior Cats as Dogs. As you all know, you cannot eat a dog, hopefully, as they are too large. That said, I am not in any way guilty of implying that I could only use this to compare cats to food, or that I was going to keep doing this, but as usual, my opinions on this subject are facts. Before I start, I will clarify that I will be disregarding family relations and assumed cat breeds that have been attributed to any cats. So even though Leafpool and Lion Blaze are related somehow, they are not going to be the same dog. I'm also going to be mostly disregarding color unless it's a detail that overshadows the rest of the character's traits. To begin, Firestar is a Labrador. I choose a Labrador for Firestar because it is a basic dog. It is what I start with. You all learned your lesson last time. Blue Star is a schnauzer. She's very intimidating, but she's actually very caring and social. At the beginning, anyways. She's very protective of what she cares about for as long as she cares about it. Thistleclaw is that dog where the owner says, he's a good dog, he's just a little nippy, but then when you go to pet him, you spend the next three weeks in the hospital from blood loss. Tallstar is a Doberman. He's proud and dependable, and if you wrong him, he will literally never forget. Maple Shade is a Chow Chow. She jumps to conclusions and assumes the worst of everyone. She would bite any stranger that looks at her funny, and she only ever had one person that she actually tolerated. Cloudtail is a beagle. He's food motivated and has a tendency to run away. I also imagine that he's fat, like every beagle I've ever met, and he's also pretty happy. Running Wind is a Basenji. They're both brown, and they can both run. Longtail is a Rottweiler. Disregard what he seems like, his loyalty is actually his most important trait. Tiger Star is a canary dog. Somebody who used to come into the grooming salon I worked at had a canary dog. It acted just like Tiger Star. Did you know that in a few countries you're not allowed to even have one of these unless you have cattle? There's a reason. Darkstripe is a Shih Tzu. There is no dog that sucks up to you as much as one of these when it wants something. Shih Tzus are little mooches who live off of attention and can be rewarded just by you looking vaguely excited around them. Graystripe is a golden doodle. You cannot predict how Graystripe is going to act. He has no consistent values or character traits beyond being goofy. He probably also needs to be brushed. Right now. Go brush your golden doodle right now! This is a demand, personally, from Moon Kitty. Sandstorm is an Akita. Sandstorm strong. What, do I need to explain everything? Don't look at me like that. Squirrel Flight is a Papillon. She's tiny, has oddly distributed fluff, and she's too smart for her own good, and genuinely more clever than the people around her, even though they don't take her seriously. Leafpool is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Leafpool is just going along where life takes her. As long as nothing is wrong, she's laid back and she loves attention. Please, someone pay attention to Leafpool. Crowfeather is a Greyhound. Crowfeather is what comes to mind when you think of fast warrior cats, but he's actually just an angsty lump. Brambleclaw is a German Shepherd. Tawny Pelt is a well-trained German Shepherd. Hawk Frost is a Border Collie. He is smart and adaptable, but capable of destruction when ignored and left to his own devices. Ashfur is a Sky Terrier. He picked the one person he liked, isn't interested in anyone else, and is literally incapable of moving on. Jay Feather is a Shiba Inu. He is grumpy, independent, and disinterested in most everything everyone else goes along with. He's very aloof with his peers. Lion Blaze is a boxer. He's big and dumb and doesn't know his own strength, and he accidentally hurts people all the time. Hollyleaf is a husky. She's super stubborn and set in her ways, but at the same time clever and capable of plotting. It takes a lot to fully convince her of something, but when she's got the idea in her head, she will not let it go. Breeze Pelt is a pug. He is in pain just from being alive. He flips his lid if you so much as touch him the wrong way. He screams loud all the time. Nothing he says sounds right. Hooray! Heathertail is a Bichon. Heathertail is seemingly okay with anything, as long as there's somebody with her. She isn't stupid, just passive. Dovewing is a Pomeranian. She's willing to make friends with anyone and is pretty naive and excitable. The rules mean nothing to Dovewing because she's cute and she gets away with it. Ivy Pool is a Westie. When her arc ends, she's a little bit more cautious than her sister, but still approachable. She suffers with loneliness and being excluded a lot more than her sister does. Blossomfall is a Dachshund. She looks cute, but she definitely bites. Bumblestripe is an English bulldog. He's goofy and lovable, never mind the fact that he throws a fit when he doesn't get his way. Alderheart is an Italian greyhound. He's anxious and he overthinks things, but he's a clever boy. Needletail is a pit bull. She seems like she might be intimidating and has a bad reputation, but in the end, she's actually much more trustworthy than anybody gave her credit for. Darktail is a Saluki. He only trusts himself and isn't in any way affectionate. He only cares about Darktail's needs and is driven to kill. Twig Branch is a Great Dane. She has a gentle way of dealing with things, but she doesn't really fully understand how her actions affect other people, like a Great Dane stepping on your children by accident. Violet Shine is a Collie. She's goal-oriented and afraid of being left alone. Fernsong is a Golden Retriever. Because he's a good boy. 
Root Paws, a Jack Russell Terrier. Please stop screaming. Oh my god, please, it's not a big deal. Stop yelling, please. Did you just bite me? Stop! Bristle Frost is a Cardigan Welsh Corgi. She's friendly and active, but she's also responsible and independent. Shadowpaw is a Yorkie. He is very social and pretty inexperienced, and a lot of people don't take him seriously, and we're still unsure of if or not that's right of them. Ray Wing is a Chihuahua. He's a good guy who just wants to make sure his friends and family are safe. He also may or may not have trouble breathing lately. Clear Sky is a Pekingese. He doesn't trust you or anyone else as far as he can throw them and seems to make his own rules about how the world is supposed to work. Starflower isn't your dog. She's somebody else's dog. She doesn't care much for you, and watching her has been a pain in the butt so far.